Where do we get our energy from? Ooh, 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 sun. sun is the main thing. Sun. <laughs> solar power. Solar power. You know, it'll be solar power. Mm -hmm. Electricity. Uh, fossil fuel. Can you get hurt from solar power? Yeah, maybe. It's like too damn hot. Or... Like for example, does anybody live in a house where on your roof you have solar panel? Is that power you have? No, I've seen a building. Yeah, so now new houses, right, when you construct new houses, on the road. instead of having the old roof that you had, or just had panels, hold on one second, or just had panels, what they do now is they say, look, we'll give you a break if you put solar panels. Now, if you have solar panels on your house, when it's sunny outside, those solar panels store energy, and they heat the home, and they heat the home going. Do you save money on your bills? Sure you do. Now, sun and solar power, do they hurt the environment? No. no. Not really. What's something that hurts the environment that we use? Fossil fuels. Yeah. Well, fossil fuels. Uh -oh. What's another thing that we use? Water. Wind. Now water, major thing Wind? for power. Uh, we use it every day. Wind. Starts with O. Outlet. Oxygen. 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 We use for power. <laughs> you go to the store. You go to your, well, you go to pump your gas. Pump oxygen into your pump. Uh, <laughs> what do you use? Starts with O, ends with L. Uh, oil. oil, yeah. Oil. Now, do we convert oil into energy? Sure we do. Okay, how do you think the heat comes out of that machine? Okay, electricity for that one. But some of your boilers in your houses, they use what? Oil. Some of these oil. So the idea is what? Different forms of energy. But all we're coming back to is what? Solids, liquids, and gases. They have many functions in our house and our society, right? But we got to know what they do for us. Yeah. But the main thing we're looking at is something like an outlet that we look at, that we take for granted, that you see every day, has insulators built into it. It has transport conductors. What happens if you ever have a power outage? Yeah. Okay. When the, you see the poles? See the poles along the street? Now, you ever see a socket that spark? You ever pull a plug out really fast and a spark came out? Not, you never do that? I did that. You ever put a plug into the wall and you pull it out real fast and the spark oh, comes yeah, out? Oh yeah, sometimes in the back, my kitchen that put and then it's connected to a bathroom that won't work. I'm the only one who never knows how it works, so I have like uh, the refrigerator plug that came up moving out here. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Now, what is that it's static? Like that's actually the two transporters rubbing up against each other. Now, if you do that, and you do it fast enough, it can have an explosion, a fire can come out. <laughs> have you ever tried to take two magnets and put them on opposite ends and make them touch? Yeah. I what happens? They push apart, right? Yeah, because it's kind of like a metal ball, or yeah. like it's a ball of balls. Exactly. Yeah. So what we're looking at is, a lot of times with these sockets, you have to be very careful. So always want to make sure that when you're dealing with electricity and power, you always use safety precautions, but most importantly,